gonna be there just for the sunshine I'll hold your hand while we stand in the rain I'll be your forever and not just your sometimes I'll be your calm in a hurricane Alright, try it dressing on that one. You should have put a lot of dressing on that, Brendan. We're going to give you another one. Can you taste the dressing? Oh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. You know what else is good with salad like that is hard Hold on, I Yeah, we put hard-boiled eggs in ours. I know eggs. I, I like egg salad and chicken salad. Okay, what do you think of the first bite? Not bad. It kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of feels like, I know it's grass, but kind of little bits of, it's, I know it's not meat, but it kind of feels like bits of here, try this. Brian, I want to know the taste. No, I don't care what it feels like. Try this piece. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get him. I'm that trying to film him. lathered in dressing. In dressing. Go ahead. Put it. I don't care how much you got on your face. I just want you to eat the salad. Good, in it? Ooh. Yeah. Nice ranch, and crunchy. Like ranch, yeah. See? We were telling. Did you? We told you. Just chew it up real good. Yeah, just. Yeah, I will, that's yeah. all you got to do. Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you eat a bowl with me sometime? Yeah. See, you got another whole bag of Brunion, I'm salad. proud of you. You're eating salad. Anytime you want. Brunion, how do you like that salad? Mm, pretty, good. pretty good. Would you eat a bowl with me? Well, you got the whole bowl to yourself. Well, right? would you eat a bowl with me sometime? Sometime, yeah. Would you eat a bowl? Oh, Brunion, I'm proud of you. You're eating Brunion. salad for the first time. You got me calling All of this, Brian, is bag salad. We like the bag lettuce the it's best. It's just a mixed, um, mm -hmm. it has carrots. Okay, so I am super duper excited. My new AFO braces came today and I got them and I could not be more happy. So here's why this is a big deal. If you haven't seen in previous videos, I always wear AFO braces um, for my cerebral palsy. It helps my ankles they are constantly contracting and turning and that is very painful um so they have to have the straps to keep them from doing that and then just a little support on my legs not all the way up i used to wear the ones where my legs needed the support all the way up but then i got to a point where um i only needed them mid down basically um because my ankles are the real problem but they're not um my orthopedic doctor does not want me to go without a brace, um, like just an ankle brace, like I could, but he, they don't want me doing that. So be, it's for support purposes, but I am so excited. Okay, here's the deal. We've had this problem for like my whole life. You get braces and those of you who wear AFO braces, you know, you just know. They come in and you know, they're supposed to fit your feet and they're too big. That's always been the case for me. So, like, they're, like, trying to get my heels to stay in the brace, even with the straps. And even when they're really tight and they're on, like, they don't even hurt because they're tight. But it's more of, like, they're, they're, sorry, we're by my bed with my heated throw there that I was chilling with earlier. Anyway, but it's just, like, they were, they're trying to get my heels in. And even with the sh right shoes and the, brace and the um the the right straps the brace was so big my heels were still moving around and I mean yes I can still wear these with the adaptive shoes but I'm so excited because these even fit in my sandals what I'm about to show you guys they even fit in my sandals they fit in my for the first time in my entire life they fit my regular tennis shoes so I don't have to get a size 8 I wear a size 12 in shoes they are not too tight. You guys, when they make braces, they measure your feet, they cast your legs, they do all the things, and they figure out what's going to work and what's not going to work. Sometimes it takes a couple times, and sometimes it takes several years to figure it out. I did used to have a small pair as well, but I've never had a pair this small. But I'm really excited because of how many straps are on it. They said they would be um, just as supportive, and they are because I've been walking around with them um, for a while now, and they're working. Um, and because it doesn't have to go all the way up my legs, I can be more flexible when I'm like dancing or playing violin or trying to stand up straight and sing. 
Um, obviously, I'm going to keep my other braces, but using them is not good for me because even the orthopedic... So here's how it works. The orthopedic doctor writes the prescription. The other people at another place, they make the braces. So when he saw them, he's like, yeah, those are real big. And my mom was like, yeah, those are real big. Now, the brace itself worked. The type of brace worked. But there's like a million types of braces, you guys. I do not do good with articulating hinge braces. We tried it once. I kept falling. They hurt. Not going to happen. But I've always done amazing with solid AFOs. Even though they've been big, the solid AFOs have done the job that they're supposed to do given the situation or circumstance. But now we are doing great because I can have freedom on my legs, but I can, my ankles aren't going to turn anymore. And I literally can wear these with anything. So these are the pediatric toddler size, um, jumpstart kangaroo AFO braces. So I will show you. Okay, I know it looks a little funny with my pants leg up, but I'm just doing this so I could show you guys. So uh, there's a strap up here that we have just for extra support. Um, I tried doing it without the strap and my mom was like, I don't think so. Um, so then it fits just in this shoe. And then um, you'll see a picture of them, but there's like behind, I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys behind the brace. Um, so that, that's the brace. It's so little. It's so little and cute. Anyway, so this is what they look like. And I, like I said, you'll see pictures of them either before this or after this. But um, I obviously can, oh, let me show you the actual, let me, so I can take off my shoe. Okay, this is where the brace is. So my heel is staying in very, okay, that's how I can show you the back. My heel is staying in very, very secure. Um, so... Yes, the foot plate, they kept doing long foot plates, but they realized that it was, it was too hard for me. I was tripping. I couldn't walk. We couldn't fit them in shoes. And it just, it, it fits perfectly. My mom even loves them because they're like, you know, they're, they're like a, a light brace. It's a light brace. And it's still molded to your fit. It's just that they, we finally got it right. So, sorry, I'm trying to, like, put my brace back on my shoe. And I've never in my life had the easiest time putting on my braces. And I can even get up and walk around. And I just feel so comfortable. My heels are not moving. Um, and the reason the thing is, is I had braces. So, when they would go, when they were further up my legs, the brace helped my ankle. Yes, it gave my leg support, but there were also certain parts of my leg, like when it got closer up to my knees, where I couldn't move as much as I could with the brace. And I was like, well, it's taking away that mobility I have. I don't like that. Um, can we get rid of that? So I'm very, very happy and very pleased. So um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll be here next time. All right. See you next time. Your love is better than